we're experiencing longer droughts, earlier fire seasons and more extreme weather. This year's wildfire season is already underway and the province is stepping up its emergency preparedness. While the lower mainland has gotten some relief from the recent rainfall, other parts of the province are still at risk for a drier and hotter summer. And as we move into the summer months, more and more people and businesses that hold water licenses will receive letters about drought conditions and the need to voluntarily conserve water. Close to 5,000 evacuees from Fort Nelson have now returned home, but there are still more than a hundred wildfires actively burning in the province, most concentrated in the northeast. The B.C. government now offering anyone who's forced to leave their home due to a wildfire a $200 per night accommodation allowance via e-transfer for each household. While evacuees will still have the option of being directly referred to available lodging, this new e-transfer alternative option will allow people who are evacuated to make their own decisions on accommodation, whether that's to stay with family or friends or find a hotel on their own or stay at a campground. BC saw the most destructive wildfire season ever in 2023, with more than 2.8 million hectares burned and more than 100,000 people evacuated. Officials say this summer will be challenging as hot and dry weather is in the forecast for July and August and snowpack levels still remain low. Here this year, I think we, we've benefited again from those cool conditions, the rain through through the southern, we'll call it two thirds of the province. Um, but inevitably, you know, we will be upticking with continued, you know, activity into uh, into July and August. In preparation, the province says it's also acquired more firefighting planes and helicopters, created pathways for quicker online support and hired more wildfire crews. In Vancouver, Cecilia Hua, City News.